So here we are on webmaker.org and there are some great resources to be found right here on the front page. The first thing I want to show you is under the Make tab. And there are three tools to the Webmaker tool set that I'd like to show you. The first is called Remixes with X-Ray Goggles. X-Ray Goggles is probably the thing that I like to start with first whenever I'm introducing a student to web design, HTML, that kind of thing. So I'll just show that to you now. So X-Ray Goggles, as the title says, allows you to remix and share web pages instantly. And there's some great instructions on this page describing how you can use X-Ray Goggles. I'll just run through it briefly. Um, here's a button that says Activate X-Ray Goggles. I'm going to click that and we're going to watch what happens now. I'm going to click that and I'm going to be able to mouse over elements. So here we go. I can move my cursor over any HTML element and it's actually going to show me what that HTML element is made out of. You can see here that this is an H1. It's got the tags highlighted there. I can move my cursor over this. I can see that that's a paragraph represented by the P tag. Oh, there's another H1. Uh, looks like this is all inside of a div. It's pretty cool. So you can just mouse over any element and it'll show you what it's made of. If there's something I want to change, I can actually go up here to an element and I can click it and it's going to open a dialog and it's actually going to show me on the left hand side the HTML that makes up that element and there's going to be a preview of that element rendered on the right side. And I can change any of this. So here's the URL that's inside that image tag. I can just click it and replace it with something else. And so I've just remixed that element of HTML. I've just changed it. So this is a great introduction to HTML. and It opens the dialog to talk about what tags are, what URLs are, things like that. So after I've made my change, I can hit Save Changes, and it's going to commit that change to the web page. And I can do that with any element. I can go over here to a text element, like an H1, and I can, I can just change that. Something like that. Just save those changes. It's going to commit it right there to the page. So that's terrific. And so you can, you can activate X-ray goggles by clicking on this button. If you want to act, if you want to remix another web page, you can actually drag this to your bookmarks bar and save it as a bookmarklet, just like that. And down here at the bottom, there are instructions on just how to do what I did, dragging that button to the bookmarklets bar. And so now, with this saved as a bookmarklet. I can go to any web page that I want to remix, like this one for example. I've already got my, let me do that for an example. Here's x-ray goggles. They're going to be activated on this page now. And you can see I've already remixed this. Uh, this was a page about Krillin, and now it's a page about Michael Jordan. And it's just as easy as clicking on the element and changing it. So I can say, uh, it says, as a young boy, Krillin studied martial arts. I can change that to Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan studied martial arts with Goku. That sounds right. Save changes. There you go. So you can just remix any web page you want. And when you're done, there's a publish button down at the bottom. So you can just click publish and you're going to need to log in with your persona account in order to publish this and you just simply click publish to the internet and now it's given me a URL not to this original web page but to my remix of this web page so to give you a shot of what it looked like before here's the original and then here's my remix and it's just that easy to do. And it's just a terrific introduction to HTML. Um, it's really good for young kids 
who are um, probably daunted by a screen full of code, you can just pick an element and they can kind of find and replace and, and do some, some elementary text changes there. Um, and it's a great first step into learning HTML, um, technical interests in general, and ultimately, I think, computer science.